Suicide. Just the word alone is a heavy subject for anyone, most especially our youth. Some of them are scared because it's taboo. Nobody wants to do it. A persistent taboo that Guam Life Works and Rainbows for All Children, Executive Director Marie Halloran is trying to break. It's why for the 19th annual candlelight memorial service, Out of the Darkness, Our Community Walks, she's bringing awareness on suicide prevention by doing away with the hushed conversations behind closed doors. It would bring us all together and understand what's happening because research had shown that people that attempt or complete suicide, it is the pain that they're feeling that they cannot see any way out. It's so dark. It's awareness Halloran is bringing to several schools on people. island, like Santa Barbara Catholic School, ahead of the memorial. Some of my friends have friends who have committed suicide, and they talk to me about it, and it's a heavy subject. Middle schooler Molly De La Cruz learning to recognize the signs and what she can do to support her friends. I was able to understand why people do it, and I think that it makes me want to help them more. Part of breaking the stigma is recognizing suicide is real and it impacts everyone. Guam Hogs Motorcycle Club biker and veteran Roland Ada will be lighting a candle for his brother-in-law and fellow veterans. Al uh, Evangelista, he passed away um, and, and nobody saw the signs. We didn't really understand it at the time, um, what he was going through. And, and when we ended up finding him, you know, it was already too late. And, we didn't um, have the knowledge or, or the experience to, to talk to people like that who are having those kind of issues. It's real. It's, it's everywhere. Um, I'm also a veteran. I've also experienced um, veterans who I've been close with and, and, and took their own life as well. A reality Guam Veterans Affairs Office Director and Marine Joe San Augustine is all too familiar with after losing his brothers and sisters in arms to suicide. It's why he's emphasizing the importance of community and prevention. The significant part of this is it's our community that's impacted. Uh, even though um, we focus on veterans' suicide, the unique piece of it is we're out in the community and those individuals are either our own family members, our own friends, cousins. One way or another, they're connected to us. The candlelight memorial service is this Saturday, September 27th at the St. Anthony Catholic School Auditorium from 5.30 to 8.30 in the morning. There will also be a professional walk, memory tree, and a light breakfast. The community is invited to bring a photo or memento to remember loved ones lost to suicide. Mitsuki Hariyama, KUAM News.